I just booked my flight to Australia. I'm actually tearing up right now. I am going to Australia. <laughs> hey, so I'm at the airport about to go to Australia. It is 10 in the morning on Saturday and I don't actually arrive until 12.30 in the morning on Monday. It is a 26 hour travel day ahead of me, but I am ready. I've been waiting for this moment since I was a little wee lad, like 12 years old, and today I'm <laughs> So I just landed in Australia. I... Do you see the smile right now? G'day mate! I just woke up, it's like 5 in the morning, I don't think I'm totally on the clock here yet because that is so unlike me, but I am just so excited because I'm in Australia. What? I know I'm just gonna, I just have to like chill out for a second just so my brain can kind of comprehend where I am because I'm still just so confused since it's summer here and I just got back from shoveling my deck in Connecticut. So today is my first full day in Australia. I am staying with my Australian best friend. She lives in Perth, but we're now at her beach house in Bustleton, which is like a three hour drive south of Perth. And I just wanted to film my initial reaction first day in Australia for this video and bring you along with me. Look at where I am right now. What? Like, I just looked at my clock as well on my phone, and it is 7 p.m. back home yesterday, and this is just going on on the other side of the world. I'm just, how? <laughs> like, I could be at home right now in the dark and cold and snow, and then meanwhile, this is happening. It feels like I'm in a different dimension right now. <laughs> Coming to you from the bush. We are walking in the bushland, and I thought I'd be kind of nervous walking in the woods in Australia because I thought anything would just pop out and eat me alive in one gulp. But it's really not like that. I actually feel pretty safe, and I don't see any critters yet. I thought there would just be snakes everywhere and spiders falling from the trees. Just that's not the way it is out here. Imagine as I'm talking about that, a big snake just wraps around me and pulls me in. Tess has a wildlife lesson to give you all mm -hmm. because this is something I have to keep your eye out for when you're in Australia. Yeah. It's quite a simple tip really. Um, keep your eyes up because we have drop bears in Australia and there are quite a few in this region. Uh, they're basically koala bears that have had kind of like rabies gone through them and so they're, they're quite psycho Cute. killers. So Cute. Keep the eyes peeled up because they drop from the trees and their claws actually drop and land on you or on your back and they can take your skin out. Lovely. Um, so yeah, it's a very simple tip. Keep your eyes up. Yeah, so if you see one falling, what do you do? <sighs> well, there's not a lot you can do, okay? Oh, okay. That's kind of it. Say your prayers. Okay. Which path should we take, left or right?
love Australia. <laughs> oh my God. Now I'm gonna go home. <laughs> Editing Kevin here. I just wanted to come on here because I feel like it's I can't make an Australia video right now and not address what's going on in Australia because it's pretty serious. I'm actually in Melbourne, Australia now, which is on the east coast of Australia, which is where a lot of the fires are burning. And you could actually see outside right now some haze from fires, which is just very scary. And it kind of hit me that it's a really a big deal. And I know you've probably seen it on the news. Australia is literally burning and a lot of animals, as in like millions upon millions of animals are dying and even people are dying and burning and it's just not okay. So I just wanted to come on here and give you three different ways in which you can help because I know when something's happening on the other side of the world, it's hard to know like where to donate and I did some research for you to help you out and some places where you can help like throw your money at if you want to help, you know? The first being the Australian Red Cross. It's very simple. It's just you donate whatever amount you want to donate to help put out the fires. The second is the Australian Koala Foundation, which you actually pay to adopt a koala and that money goes to helping koalas that are in Australia, which a lot of them are sadly dying from these fires because they live in the bush that the fires are going on in. And the third being Ellen's GoFundMe page, which she's going to be donating all the money to help put out the fires. The links to those three will be down below if you're interested. And yeah, let's just keep Australia in our thoughts because it's pretty scary down here. I'm safe. I'm like in a city, so I'm good. But outside of the city, it's just still on fire. So let's just, let's just hope it ends soon.